Hello and welcome to an update, a homebrew update. It's been a while since I've done a homebrew update slash tasting. So I've just bottled up them lot there. So all that lot there. Literally about 35 pints, bar one pint was a well. So there's what it looks like. That's St. Peter's. I use plastic bottles. Some people don't, some people do. You know, can't afford to mess about with glass bottles, cost too much. Um, but um, yeah, it's, it's dark black, um, got an off white head on it. And uh, so yeah, that's what I've just bottled. And literally, this is the beer. So it's going into secondary fermentation. So don't take anything about carbonation or head at this moment in time. It's all about aroma and taste, really. The smell of plum hits you. Um, yes, this is obviously St. Peter's Plum Porter Kit. Brand new to the market. Literally uh, released, was it last week? So it's very fresh to the market. Uh, I think it's made by Muntons for St. Peter's, although I'm not 100% sure. Um, comes in two kits, there's no essence in play. I thought there might be an essence in play, but no. So they've obviously done their work before, and which is great because the more you add stuff to any beer, the more complicated it gets. And then there's, um, there's a moment where things can happen and issues can occur and uh, but no so as it looks uh, it's been brewing for a week uh, it's finished brewing got 1010 gravity um, and uh, it's now going into secondary fermentation this is a pint so I'm literally down to 34 pints now but hey ho <sighs> the plum nose is sublime lovely plum on the taste um, obviously it needs to carbonate to make it feel more thicker than what it is um, bloody hell that's tasting bang on um, without secondary fermentation. Um, ABV is 5%. Um, wow. Can't hold back my smile to see this come to the market. Didn't think it said this would ever arrive. Um, obviously, St. Peter's do five kits golden ale, ruby ale, honey porter, cream stout, ruby red. Yeah, five. Um, my favourite is uh, possibly the honey porter, followed closely by cream, cream stout. So now, Till now, um, that is literally stunning. Now, for the first brew, I did not play around with the brew at all. I've, I've gone straight in with no extra sugar added or, you know, no messing about. Just brew it as it is. It's going to be for Christmas. I, I won it on a Facebook competition from St. Peter's Brewery, so massive thank you to everyone at St. Peter's Brewery, who ever chose my name. Um, obviously, you know, one of my favorite national breweries. Um, love the range of beer they do. I'm going over to the shop next year because we're actually going on a holiday in that area of the world. So uh, we're having a three day weekend breakaway. Yeah, my son's going to be ill that day, that Friday. Yeah, is is what it is. Um, I'll have to get some blue time because I think it's early in the year. But we're going to go over and uh, we're going to go down the brewery 
Hopefully step into the brewery. Well, I'm going to step into the brewery, the put shop at least. But hopefully I might snag a little look around the brewery. You never know, look. Um, definitely going to get one of each beers to bring back with me for future reviews and to catch up with you, you know. Uh, I did love re retracing, you know, it's all like reviewing beers, but, you know, I'm a fan of certain beers and... Uh, uh, you can only review so much anyway in the grand scheme of things. Uh, I mean, the only time a beer would jump to the front of the queue if someone actually sent it me because of the fact that, uh, you know, it's a lovely gesture. I mean, other than that, if I'm paying for it, I'll choose one I like, but there you go. Um, but yeah. Looks amazing. Decent head on it. Um, I can show you the head here. Look. There we go. And that's in the bottle literally about 15 minutes so it's gonna be a great one i'm looking forward to christmas eve probably six days to six days it should secondary ferment um obviously it'll get better in time but uh, if it tastes this good on 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 before secondary fermentation For, I'm in for a raggy treat. What a great end to the day. Great end to Sunday. Um, not getting 5%, mind you. It tastes very... I can feel it. But I can't tell you that it's 5%. It is 5%. I know that myself. But, um, what a going, lad. Out of five. Wow. Do I really give it a score? Good 4.55 against other home brews. If not higher, it's going to be an amazing. Thank you for watching. Go and treat yourself. Or treat yourself. Cheers all.